Hello and welcome to our channel, and a special welcome to all the new followers that have found our little corner of the internet. Glad to have you here with us. We have slowly transitioned from a long winter into an early springtime, where the night times are still cold and frosty. It's the busy season on the homestead, where everything seems to be happening all at once. In April, Jonna started preparing posts for a new fence that will surround the new garden area and help keep the goats out. We have gathered the posts from the forest this last winter, debarked them and have stored them away to dry out for a bit. We found some free wood chips in the area, we picked up a few loads and I have been using them to create a little terrace in front of the cabin. One day we unexpectedly discovered a few baby bunnies with our female rabbit. We had almost assumed she might not be fertile and one of the males has kept her company throughout all the autumn and the winter time. But now we discovered a burrow in the ground she had dug, where she had made a nest deep below the surface. The next day we woke up to a frosty winter scene in the middle of April. We didn't see the small bunnies that day and our female rabbit didn't visit the nest. Eventually we decided to dug out the nest to find seven dead rabbits inside. This was very sad and kind of depressing, but also sometimes part of a hard reality living on the homestead. With a heavy heart I decided to make some improvements on the cabin. Now the season for tourism has not yet started. The outside has been protected from snow by an ugly plastic sheet throughout winter time and the inside got filled up with stuff over the past few months. My aim is to smoothen up the walls, make the colors brighter and take out the tapestries to restore the wooden floor underneath and give this cabin a deep cleaning and some love. Whilst Jonas is working on the fence, our buck had to spend a week on the leech, as the garden area is now unprotected for him and he would happily devour our fruit trees and perennial plants. Then it was time to plant out the first plants in the soil, in our round greenhouse. I have grown up some kale seedlings and wanted to see how big they can become before the tomatoes go, go in here. There is also a small window of opportunity here to finally finish up that shower wall on the outside. If I make clay plaster it can't freeze, but in a few weeks the tomatoes will be planted here and it will be too hard to reach the wall properly. So I decided to press on and make a batch to smoothen up this wall now, although it feels like other things are way more pressing on the homestead on this time of year. I 
I used a mixture of tar and linseed oil to protect the wood we've used to build up the frame and doors. And Jonas helped out by oiling the ceiling. Everything looks finally more kind of finished now. We noticed our female rabbit started to dig again, so we took her out and put her into the rabbit tractor, so we could keep a closer eye on her. And lo and behold, a few days later she made a nest, and soon after that we saw movement underneath all the fur. It's the first time in my life I have to do something with a big amount of animal bedding. A mixture of clay and manure from our goats, chickens and rabbits. It was quite the effort to take everything out that has been building up this past winter in the stables and in their coops. And I decided to attempt to make an 18 day hot compost with it. I could definitely use it in my garden and the hot temperature should kill off the hay seeds. Our cat Fuki, his hunter instincts have been on an all-time high lately. He has been chasing snakes and even killed two of them. Not so great in my opinion, as they were excellent for helping us to keep rodents in check in the garden. I plastered a few walls in the cabin with a new layer, but noticed the day after that on the back wall the weight of the new plaster seemed to be pulling the underlayer off the reed mats and cracks appeared everywhere. This is really frustrating, as I didn't feel like I had the energy or time to do it all over again. One of the small projects we finally tackled was giving our compost toilet some proper doors. Wat dan niet met dat één ding krijgen dat moest tijden? I bought a milk separator for our homestead this springtime and made the investment to be able to make butter from our goat milk in the future. We had no idea how it worked, but learned through watching a video, and we did our first half successful attempt.
This corner in front of the shed needed some cleaning. But first Jonas removed a part of an old stone wall behind the shed to make some room for storing our bikes and some wood. The stones will be greatly useful for finishing up our pond soon. The buck is now happily free roaming, but now the other goats are jealous and they are so noisy and annoying. They have to be patient though, as not much green is yet growing for them to eat. But after a few days we took them out for their first short walk of the season. Keeping the buck on a rope for a few days because he might get overexcited being re reunited with his girls. Between May and August he should not be able to get them pregnant though. Now the shower wall is ready and dry, my tomatoes are planted out. I'm potting up Siberian dwarf tomatoes that will grow outside this year. Back in the cabin I decided to just patch up the wall, best I could for now. Water aan het koken. Ja. I'm pretty tired of looking at this big hole in front of our cabin. It will be made priority this springtime to set up the pond before endeavoring on new building projects. I can't wait. One weekend we got some great company and help. With the return of the sun, it's also the start of the social season for us. Jullie gaan wandelen! Wandelen! Zo erg! I made two lino cuts this month.
The one I'm working on here still could use some more contrast and improvements though. It's the time of year for planting potatoes. They have kept well in their buckets throughout the winter time. I've stored up enough of, the, of our favorite potatoes from last year's harvest to grow again this year. We found a source of free straw bales via some local friends that don't need them anymore. We picked them up and I used them all throughout the garden as a fresh layer of mulch. They also blessed us with a lot of different kinds of raspberry plants that I hope will cover this area behind the greenhouse pretty soon. I want to thank you very much for watching and following alongside as our journey here continues. I see you all in the next video. Bye for now.